Right, so we're looking at applications and a way to play with the Gena Mirai and then the uh, Chunanoitsky from basically every kata based system uses that in their first kata. Uh, we're going to start with some methods directly out of the kata, and then we're going to play with a variety of ways to take it from there. So our methodology directly out of the kata, how you typically see it, is a step to the angle with a low block, and then a punch straight forward. When we're doing it straight out of the kata, he's using a lapel grab with his game plan being to hit there. My block is going to come down on the arm in the elbow joint and turn him this way. My hikite has got this grip trapped here, and then I have open for that driving punch. So that's our straight out of the kata, right off of the grip. We're going to zip here and then punch. All right, so our second flavor of this is gonna be using this purely offensively. When you realize that you need to take somebody out, uh, we're gonna try to make that optimally successful. In this case, we're going for the same target area. Uh, I'm gonna catch behind his head. This would be my chamber for the block position. Drive the head down as I cut the angle, and then drop that punch right in again. We still wanna cut the angle because if I stand still as I pull down, he may shoot a double, take any sort of position he wants there. So we're cutting off to the side so that we can get that shot and stay safe. All right, so our third one, as I approach his hands come up in a guard position, I don't want to cross this range without dealing with his hands or I'm going to eat knuckle sandwich. So as I step into range, I'm going to cover his hands so that they stick to them. I'm going to lead this hand forward and cut, my goal is to get above his elbow here for the best lever arm as I shift to the outside. That lets me control his position and from here we have a, a range of follow-ups that we can do depending on what your goals are. So again, hands come up, I'm gonna cover and swim over the top. So this segment, we're gonna do the same technique as we did but off of a jab cross combination. Uh, when he throws the jab, I'm basically going to do a standard catch, or you can do an outside parry. When the cross comes, the other hand does the same outside parry, but it's going to feed that low block underneath the arm as we enter. So done against a basic one-two that looks like this. We'll slow down a little bit for the camera. One, zip. We need to get above the elbow again. If we catch it below the elbow, he can fold, and we're in a world of hurt. So this is going to be that pack outside swim to that position. When we're doing this, obviously they're not just gonna throw static one-two, so we need to play off of multiple techniques. We wanna keep the arms in this same sort of frame that we're operating in. We're gonna use the forearms as he's punching, so I can just stick and cover his punches. I can stick to him and follow around this way as we're fighting. With this, how we're gonna play it is have the partner throw, they're just gonna keep throwing jab cross jab cross, you're going to pick your moment and enter off of it. So you play, that way you're not trapped into having to get this right the first time or use it off of the first engagement. Uh, you can even get, we'll do the barrage, take him by surprise and have to work your way to that same position from there. All right, so from this one, once we've got this strong position, if we're going to do this from a, sort of a sport fighting context, I'm actually going to use the tiger's mouth here, right up behind that same leverage point, and I'm replacing one with the other. As I do it, I'm going to open my stance. So this has got his elbow propped up. The reason I'm doing that is because that means his liver's nice and exposed. Depending on the range that you're at, you can hop with a knee in on the liver, or you can play it off. Oh, that liver kick. It's always fun to liver kick somebody from behind. <laughs> so the final position we're playing with with this, which leads into our hits for jits sort of entries program, off of that same jab cross combination, I'm swimming and I'm just going to take a standard body lock from that position. So I've got an S grip, a cable grip works fine, whatever you want, just don't interlace your fingers. 